Today, 20,000 part-time supermarket workers in New England were told don't bother showing up to work this week. There is no work for them anymore. For weeks, there have been protests to get their former boss back. He was fired in June by management led by his cousin, of all people. Vladimir Dutier is looking into this. So this is incredible. This is, this is about what this meat case has looked like for two weeks now. Store manager Brian Casasa showed us his nearly empty Market Basket store in Salem, New Hampshire. We really had no red meat, uh, no poultry to speak of, and uh, no fresh pork either. RDT! RDT! Hundreds of workers stopped resupplying Market Basket's 71 stores after their boss, CEO Arthur T. Demoulis, or Arthur T. as they call him, was fired by the board of directors. Market Basket employees benefited from profit sharing and college scholarship programs Arthur T. helped create. Joe Guerin and Jim LaCourse helped organize the protests. They were fired in July. It's rare in America today that you see the rank and file and consumers standing up for a chief executive officer. He knows our family members. If I walked, he walked into my office today, he'd be like, Jim, how's Lisa doing? How's the family doing? It's not about um, what profits are you making. He's a human being. But the revolt and a customer boycott has caused a 90% drop in sales. Susan Barubi had all her hours cut this week. My family depends on that paycheck to, to live, to survive. Market Basket's board of directors declined our request for an interview. They haven't said why they fired Arthur DeMoulis, but a statement this weekend said two million customers shouldn't be held hostage for a business deal between shareholders. RDT has done so much for the community and for all the employees that work here that we all just stand behind him and want him back. It just may not be in time to save their jobs. Vladimir Dutier, CBS News, Tewksbury.